I first met Ken when I acted for him. He didn't direct the actors at all. I mean, I, I rehearsed for a week and I, we sort of barely met. I remember he was quite stroppy and I, I, I did have second thoughts about casting him because he asked questions all the time. He looked sort of like a, a bank clerk, really. He made no impression on me. That was my first impression of Ken. He made no impression. In the early 60s, the BBC was changing. They were expanding to BBC Two. So uh, a number of working class ruffians like us got jobs, which we, we would never have got in the BBC before. We had one morning entitled, What to do with your cameras? <laughs> and th th there wasn't a rude reply, as you might imagine, but we were given a tour of a TV studio, but no kind of instruction at all. All right, very quiet now. Ready. BBC drama was photographed stage plays with clumsy electronic cameras in a studio. The working class were not represented. I do hope that the price for dropping this charge is not any high one. 18, two next. And posh actors could always play down, as they said. Oh, I'm going northern. It was a class-ridden English society and we came in wanting to change it. We were asked to produce a, a series of contemporary single dramas about the world as it actually was. So that was our brief to stir up a bit of trouble. magical medium to work with, and so that's compulsive. Because you're not only dealing with drama and actors and performance and telling a story, you're also dealing in images and lights and movements, I mean all those things. 